This shot creating post score build can score in every single way possible on NBA 2K24. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that build. And I'm also going to be giving you guys some rec gameplay. But with all that out of the way, man, let's get started with today's video. Let's go. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this build two separate ways. One version is going to have a lot more defense than the first version, but the first version is the one that I'm going to have gameplay for. But we're going to be going with the shooting guard position. Height is going to be six foot nine, weight 198 pounds with a 6'10 wingspan. Now I know the meta height in 2K for guards is usually 6'6 or 6'8 but we ended up going 6'9 here because you get so many more attributes on the offensive end which is why we ended up making it that height now starting things off in the finish thing we're going to have a 92 close shot which gets us hook specialist on hall of fame a 97 driving layup which gets you slithery and fearless finisher on hall of fame so you're going to be dominant in the paint on this build and you're going to be really good when it comes to driving to the rim as well and doing up and unders and layups out of the post speaking of post we're going to have a 92 post control which is going to get us unpluckable on gold. Then we're also going to get a bunch of really good Hall of Fame badges, which include Dream Shake, Post Spin Technician, and you're just going to be overall really dominant out of the post. But now let's take a look at some of these finishing highlights right here, driving baseline, going up with the layup. For some of these clips, I have the meter on. Sometimes I have it off. I just wanted to see how big the green window was when I'm going up at the rim right there. That is an open shot doing a Euro in front of two defenders. And also one thing too, we're going to have a little bit of park gameplay today. I was playing with my boy Koza and Azui in the park, and we were playing during st patrick's day we were just hooping having a little bit of fun we like playing parks sometimes here and there where we're trying to just play a little bit more casually a little bit more laid back and try and just cook up and get some clips because sometimes it is hard getting clips in the rec because of spacing and people just running all over the place but if we could get three people together and park we really have a lot more space to work with and just have fun and try new things out and i also like playing in park here and there because the vibes in park are kind of cool i like how the parks look and stuff i hate playing 3v3 in the theater because i think the theater just looks awful i hate trying to get content in there because i just don't think that the parks look good good in theater where the courts look good in theater i'd rather get it in park where the courts look nice there's actual scenery and stuff like that which is a big thing for theater that is just non-existent now let's get back to talking about the build once again listen man 97 driving layup on a 6-9 is kind of deadly having that hoff slithery hoff fearless finisher sure you don't get hall of fame whistle with a 99 but that 97 is deadly especially when you're on a 6-9 build which is usually the tallest position you're going to see at the shooting guard position tallest height at the shooting guard position that is what i mean meant to say but yeah it's a lot of fun having the high driving layup just means you're not going to be able to be contested at all on a 6-9 when going to the rim and the floaters are going to be super deadly you can activate them from farther out and since you're already 6-9 it's just going to be hard to get a proper contest on any shot or layup you go up with now i tried out a couple of different layup styles on this build when making the build and playing on the build and the one that people recommended me using the most was lebron james tried it out it's really good it's got great floaters it's got great x button layups you're not going to have any issue using lebron but when it comes to floaters Floaters, the craziest ones I've seen so far are either Devin Booker or Jimmy Butler. You can't contest the floaters out of there, but look at this right here. Oh my God. Post hop shot fake. Go back to the up and under. That's the and one. And then look at that quick turnaround fade. I got to teach y'all how to do that quick turnaround fade because y'all keep on asking me what's my post fade animation. And I'm telling you that quick turnaround fade that y'all see, and it's not, it has nothing to do with the animation, but we'll talk about that in a future video. All right. So now moving on to the shooting, we're going to have a 93 mid range shot, which gets you catch and shoot on Hall of Fame and MIDI Magician on Hall of Fame. And you're also going to have an 86 three point shot which gets you bronze limitless range and silver agent threes now shooting wise this build is going to be fantastic as well because you're going to be a 6'9 shooting guard and most people that play shooting guard are going to be somewhere between the height ranges of like 6'5 to 6'8 so you're going to be taller than pretty much everybody who's guarding you so you can low key shoot over people with this build now right here comboing out the corner going right to the right here with the mid range fade that's going to be your bread and butter is getting to that midi fade and then back to some of the part gameplay here again you're going to be a knockout down shooter you can hit your wide open catch and shoots without an issue and again man i know i was talking about it earlier with the theater and like how i hate how the theater looks but i really hope for 2k25 in the theater when you do matchmaking it kind of has its own location in the park and you have like the park backgrounds the park vibes and all that because from a content standpoint i again really just hate how the theater looks it's bad for thumbnails it's bad for pretty much everything and it just looks boring like it you're literally just playing on the stage in the middle of like a theater like it's the weirdest location to put a basketball court and scenery wise it just doesn't even look good now as you guys are probably seeing these six nine builds still get a bunch of really good animations you get that james harden crossover combo the john wall step back the De'Aaron fox crossover look at this right here harden john wall step back got a speed boost l2 cancel back the other way with the harden behind the back a hey, low key man listen that jamal murray behind the back is nice but james harden ain't too bad on a six nine you can still l2 cancel get to the behind the backs and still do some damage and by the way if you don't know how to l2 cancel or lt 
cancel, whatever you want to call it based off the console that you're on. Listen, just hold your left trigger, okay? Listen, you need to learn how to do that ASAP because it's one of the most explosive things that you could do to get you open for a wide open three. But I'm not going to do a whole breakdown on that while in the middle of this video. We're talking about this build and this build is deadly. All three levels out the post in the mid range area, creating its own shot. You could do everything on this build. I promise you. And now moving on to the playmaking, you're going to get a 75 pass accuracy and an 80 ball handle. Now, one thing that you guys probably noticed with this build is that I do not have my speed with ball upgraded. And we're going to talk about that really quickly. If you are somebody who is a primary ball handler, bringing the ball up the court, yes, it does not hurt to have speed with ball. But with the way that this game is designed and how speed boosting is in this game, you don't even need speed booster as a badge. And you don't need speed with ball either because your first two steps is based off of your acceleration. And I'm telling you guys, once again, one really big thing with making this at shooting guard is you get pro dribble style by default, which is something normally you need a 70 speed with ball to unlock. But since we're at shooting guard, we get it by default. So there's no point in upgrading my speed with ball to get animations. There's no point in upgrading my speed with ball to get speed booster because I could still speed boost without it. And there are so many playmaking moves that you get that you can do with standstill dribbling that you don't need speed booster. The hardened combo moves, the John Wall step back, that creates a lot of vertical acceleration. Then once you learn how to L2 cancel with the hardened behind the back, that's going to create some horizontal separation from your defender. So you really don't need to be able to speed boost super crazy. But enough about playmaking. Let's talk about the rest of the build. For the defense, you're going to have an 82 interior defense, which gets you post move lockdown on silver. And you're going to be good down in the paint. And you're also going to have an 82 perimeter defense, which gets you challenger on silver as well. So you're going to be able to be decent on the perimeter guarding guards. And you can also hang down low with people trying to drive to the rim. Now, one thing, there is no block rating on this build. Block gets kind of expensive once you start getting taller. So I didn't want to put it on this version of the build. However, I do have a second version of this build that I will show you guys in just a moment that does get blocked. So if you want to make it that way, you absolutely can. And then for the physicals, we have an 80 speed, 71 acceleration, 84 strength for physical handles on Hall of Fame, bulldozer on silver and a couple other badges. And now here is version two of the build. This one's going to get a lot more defense. You're going to get silver clamps, gold challenger. You're going to get enough for bronze anchor, silver chase down artist. You're going to be a lot more of a two way type of player on this build. You're getting enough steel for bronze interceptor. So you, again, you could play a little bit more defense on this version of the build. The only really thing that we had to subtract in order to make this happen was dropping our close shot down to 86 and our driving layup down to 80. 80 driving layup is still really good. You can use the Jimmy Butler layup package and still have a lot of really good results when driving to the rim, especially with his floaters. And now coming out of the my player builder, you are going to get the player comparisons of these are actually some interesting comparisons. Richard Hamilton, Herbert Jones and Tracy McGrady. It's the magic version of Tracy McGrady as well. You're going to get the build name three level threat. This is probably the most common build name that I get on all of my builds because I kind of make a lot of my builds similar, but it's the way I like to play and it's kind of meta. The midi hunting, especially in rec is kind of meta. So that's how I like playing. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I do have some different type of builds coming out soon and I'm out, man. Peace.